Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So with Lasser's changes to the loot system, they've added in chase items. You can see that just here with the content Pacific rewards. They've added in chase items that are either artifacts or artifact gear. And then you have fashion transmute items as well. And they're all tradable and have no class restrictions. Albeit you will have some rewards which are weapon transmutes, which then of course those are class specific for example you'll have your loot and rapier for the bard and they've added in termian ones blue fire ones and then also adding some unique transmutes to advanced dungeons and master trials now when you go to the auction house and let's say you look for equipment and you look for legendary stuff you will see that you will find a bunch of this fashion it's all just appearance items except some things like this which is artifact gear and you can search through that and you can have a look at then what those items actually look like on your character when you right click and inspect them and this is all pretty cool and we can see different arm pieces like bracers of defense and you can get some really cool pieces that will sell for quite a lot if you manage to get them to drop you see you have a bunch of head pieces there and one that I find really cool and it probably sells for a decent chunk at this stage is this shadow wolf headdress still unfortunately it will remove your hair it can look pretty cool on a dragonborn and then there's also the picaroons tricorn which i have the original version of right now you can see there it's purple and this was dropping then before and now everything which is transmute and fashion will now be dropping as you can see in the legendary so that makes it very nice and easy to be able to search on the auction house there and you can search the name of the pieces that you know you want to be looking for now how do we actually find out where these certain items drop from some of them are pretty self-explanatory but others might be pretty unclear especially for a newer player you want to get your hands on these cool looking skins or even go and look for some of this artifact equipment where would you find this and that's the main objective of this video that i want to make a list to show every single drops in every single of those dungeons that are chase rewards the things that lasser went and specified in his reward stream as content specific rewards so before we get started i'd like to give a special thanks to all these channel members for the added support so how am i going to achieve this list i realistically can't go and run all of this content myself and hope to obtain these legendary drops that's just a bit ridiculous however i have managed to obtain some equipment and just talking to my friends and getting screenshots of them we've got some equipment as well and i've named the picture the place that we found it in for example this comes from cloak tower we have this headdress from gray wolf den we have the peg leg from pyrex king's retreat and i got this deep knight's brigandine from the throne of dwarven gods skirmish and then you could get this cruel draconic guise from tiamat master and then this trickster's flurry daggers from tomb of the nine gods again all these items you can find on the auction house if you go and click quality at legendary they're usually not really anything other than the fashion items on legendary you might find your lion heart and your mirage here as well but if that's about it you can see your blue fire ones there you can click usable by me and you can find the ones that are directly for the rogue or whatever class you're on we can see that dagger there the termian one and then we can also see what the blue fire sickle looks like overall pretty cool so how am i going to achieve this well i'm going to post a forum post where you guys can help me fill out this list. So it's going to be titled Chase Item List for Dungeon Trial Skirmish Queues. And the aim is to go and create a list for all those chase items. And I'm making a document which will hopefully uh, get filled out and we can see all of that. Like what's a chase item? It's usually cosmetic, fashion or transmute. And some areas will also drop specific artifact and artifact gear. And those are also considered chase items according to lasser as you can see here with the artifact and artifact gear now as an example of how to go and post this i would like you guys to post it in the following format just list the name of the dungeon you got it in you can again list the name of the item if it isn't 
particularly clear in your screenshot, but then ideally post a screenshot like that just there of your chest where you got the item. Otherwise, you can just list it, but having a screenshot makes it 100% sure that, that you actually got it from a chest and didn't just buy it. Otherwise, you can give me feedback and corrections based on my document and contact me separately on Discord if you so wish. You won't be able to message me unless you're in a shared server with me, so you will have to join that too. That just helps avoid bots and such. Now, this document that I've gone and created when you hit this link will lead you just here. So we have it separated in four sections there, our dungeons, advanced dungeons, skirmish and epic trials. Just as you will see in game when you press K, you have each of those sections there with all that content. There's quite a lot within this game. We can see with our standard dungeons, we got some of that artifact and artifact gear, and you can verify that the emblem drops from Malabogs, the shard, Vorkis Swan from Castle Never, and so on. You can see there with the artifacts. And then with your fashion, getting like the peg leg from Pirate's King's Retreat, the many arrows bloodied armor from Cloak Tower, and the headdress from Grey wolf den and you can see throughout the rest of them there and hopefully we can get this all filled out nicely so that we can clearly see where these items drop from you can see within your trials you're getting these neck and waist and artifact sets here as well which is pretty neat you get like the normal tiamat one from just rise of tiamat and the new mythic one from rise of tiamat master and we did manage to drop a cruel draconic guys now there are so many more items here and i'll need your help to verify verify and know exactly where those drops come from. Of course, I can always just go to the auction house. I can always go and search quality legendary and have all these items and make a good guess where they would drop from. But I don't think I should do that at all. And we should get 100% sure where these drops come from so that there's no confusion. And we know then where we can get these cool items rather than let's say buying them off the auction house. Although realistically, some of them are so cheap that this is kind of pennies for most people that you could just buy it. So overall, hopefully we can get this list nicely filled out. I'll put in the work. You guys message me what drops you get. Send me a screenshot and where you got it. You can also post in the forums there as well. Otherwise, it is unfortunate that, that the devs themselves don't list the items you can get with each of this content. I think that would be very nice. And also having, let's say, streak breakers on those items so you would run a certain dungeon or trial a certain amount of times and you would guarantee to get the reward. I think that would really help to motivate people to run specific content. For example, if I had run Shores of Turn already like let's say 59 times just by getting it within the random skirmish queue and then I would see that I only need one more completion to be able to get this chase item then I would want to go and queue up specifically for Shores of Turn to get the item and then I could claim it. Of course, that might end up making it too easy to get these items, but I think it's better than RNG. Right now, the drop chances seem a little bit too high in my opinion on this gear that a lot of it is just getting really cheap but a bunch of it you can already get these appearance items from other gear pieces as well and so that can definitely lead to the devaluing of those certain items you can check some of the most expensive things and you can see most of these weapon things though are actually lion hearts and celestials but let's say you have a look what's the highest somebody's listed a headpiece at you can see 10 million for a helm of the redeemed and you'll see that piece just there. So again, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of these channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.